Hi, it's Gene retired in Mexico. I'm tapping the microphone because it, it, it never picks it. It's a really nice microphone, but never picks up the first word. It cuts my very first word off. And uh, hey, so today we're going to do uh, just a video short. It's and it's 25 things here. So I'm going to try to whip through this, you know, as best I can. I, I'm a little chatty, but 25 gross foods only baby boomers still think are cool so i'm what's this got to do with music well or with the channel but you know i'm a defender of the 21st century so one thing that's mostly better than the old days is food think of coffee i mean i used to see commercials for maxwell house and folgers and you'd go to the diner and waitress that was the word then because they were all women and they would serve you a coffee and you would hope that it hadn't been on the burner for more than an hour and now you go to starbucks and get something from rwanda or vietnam or you know so i'm a big defender of training. so let's go through these i'll give it a thumbs up and then or thumbs down and then i'll tell you if i defend it or don't defend it so first one here and i got this so i got my image over the ads here ambrosia salad marshmallows oranges pineapple coconut with a mayonnaise dressing okay so food is healthier today but i'm actually going to give this a thumbs up and i'm going to defend it i like ambrosia salad all right let's go to the, and i've looked at the first two here and then numbers uh, three through 25 i have no idea what they are so the second one here is vienna sausage Thumbs down. I didn't like it when I was younger. Meat in a can, it depends. Uh, but the only kind of sausage that I like is when I lived in the States, I'd go to Sprouts and buy a chicken brat worst and put that on the grill. Big, fat chicken sausage. Uh, and even that I didn't eat too often, you know, three, four times a year. So thumbs down and I don't defend it. Canned soups, well, they have their purpose, um, but yeah, I'm pretty much thumbs down. For one thing, there's way too much salt, sodium, right? Way too much sodium. So thumbs down, and I don't defend it. Uh, I don't buy, but I used to. I mean, back in the day, you had to, so there you go. Brand cereal? Well, I don't eat it. I don't eat brand cereal, uh, uh, but I think I think I. Well, I give it a thumb sideways, and then I defend it. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. People say it's processed, but I don't have a big problem with cereals. Kraft mac and cheese. All right. Well, this one's easy. Thumbs up. Don't defend it not healthy i will eat mac and cheese about once a quarter you know about four times a year i just get in the mood for it uh no not particularly healthy i can't defend it but i do like mac and cheese sorry fried foods well i'm really bad about this my thing is fried fish i love fish and chips so I love fried fish and french fries. Um, outside of that, I'm pretty good. I usually go for grilled food. So I'm going to give this a uh, thumbs up because I still like fried foods. French fries, I don't want to be without french fries. Uh, this plate here looks pretty disgusting, though. But um, and by the way, I put uh, Tabasco or other types of hot sauce on my french fries. I am not a fan of ketchup. Ketchup ketchup's one of my least favorite foods. Do I defend this? No. I can't defend it. But I eat uh, fried fish fairly frequently. <laughs> Sardines. Oh, thumbs up. Defend them. What is wrong with sardines? Man, you know, my cat enjoys them too. When I open sardines, I give him a little bit. He goes crazy. So if the cat likes sardines then I can defend it. If my cat will eat it, generally speaking, I'll eat it. Sardines. Um, I frequently have those with uh, some cheese and crackers. 
make just a little plate. Uh, but yeah, I eat, I eat sardines. Yeah. What's wrong with sardines? And they're one of the healthier fish, right? We know about uh, tuna and the mercury and everything. Smaller fish, healthier, right? So what's the difference between eating sardines and taking fish oil capsules? I think it's a little harsh. Desserts made with canned fruit. Boomers grew up eating desserts made with canned fruit. It's true, such as cherry pie and peach cobbler. It's true. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much in that. But if I'm going to go to a soul food restaurant, I got to have some peach cobbler at the end of my meal. It's it's a must. And it's one of the things my mother made out of the Betty Crocker cookbook that was delicious. But so I'm going to give this a thumbs down except peach cobbler thumbs up for peach cobbler and just once in a while and do i defend it uh i don't think there's anything wrong with canning it was done out of necessity out of resourcefulness and uh fresh fruit it's much better so i live in mexico where fresh fruit is easy to obtain and it's more delicious than the states it really is i mean for except maybe pineapple but the fruit is really good here so, yeah, I'm going to go with fresh fruit any time, but I don't see anything wrong with the occasional pie or cobbler. Frozen dinners. Thumbs down. Didn't like them then. Don't defend them. See those mashed potatoes? Ugh, disgusting. All right. Thank God. Now, there are still frozen meals, right? But they're much better. Uh, you can find some good frozen meals now, but the old Swanson TV dinners, disgusting. Tuna casserole. Canned tuna, cream of mushroom soup, topped off with crushed potato chips and breadcrumbs. Eh, once in a while. Once in a while. Um... Yeah, can you defend that? Uh, I like a lot of these foods. It depends on the frequency. If you eat tuna casserole a couple times a year, then thumbs up. If you eat it every Sunday, thumbs down. So, uh, but there's nothing wrong with canned fish. I prefer fresh fish, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with canned fish. Canned vegetables and canned fruits lose, they lose a lot, but some canned meats work okay. American cheese slices, thumbs down, can't defend it. Let's move on. That's not even cheese. Prunes, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I like dried fruit, but if you're just eating prunes, which was done for regularity. By the way, um... I'm reading George Carlin. He talked about the phrase occasional irregularity. That doesn't even make sense. Think about it. Occasional irregularity. Anyway, I'm 65. I do not eat prunes. I do not have to eat prunes. I will not eat prunes unless they're in with a mixed dried fruit plate. And dried fruits are popular here in Mexico. I will eat them uh, from time to time. A little bit of noise here, uh, but it's a beautiful day. It's, it may rain today, so I'm trying to get a smoke in before it rains. Miracle Whip. Thumbs down, can't defend. Yeah. Artificial sweeteners. Well, I think the verdict's out on this one. Um, I... Th Here's what I think. I'll make it quick. People will do studies and they'll say, oh, there's a 17% higher likelihood of blah, blah if you use artificial sweeteners over sugar. Of course, then there's a 23% there's a chance that you'll get diabetes if you eat sugar. So um, what happens is you have a lot of lay people who think they're doctors and they don't know they don't know anything, really. 
Uh, I know we all have to make these decisions for ourselves, but I think artificial sweeteners are not as uh, not as dangerous as people think they are. Uh, people here still use them uh, of all ages, so I don't particularly understand, but uh, I think it depends on uh, sugar. Are you okay with sugar? Can you eat sugar? And uh, so, I don't know. I'm going to give this a thumb sideways and a verdict sideways. I think this is uh, science that still has a, lot, a long ways to go. Grits. I never ate them. Never had grits, ever. So, um, I'm going to pass on that one. I don't know the first thing about grits. George Carlin talked about grits, too. Hey, what's that moving, man? <laughs> grits moving. Anyway, fruitcake. All right. I'm a little gentler um, on fruitcake. I don't think they're as bad as people think they are. Uh, but it's weird when you think about it. It's weird when you think about it. I'm uh, now that I look at that fruit. Yeah, I'm going to go thumbs down and no defend. Yeah, yeah. Boiled Brussels sprouts. Well, why would you boil them when you can um, grill them or uh, well, what do they do now? Pan fry them real quick. Um, I forget the name of that, but boiled or steamed Brussels sprouts. Yeah, you have to know how to cook Brussels sprouts. They're bitter if you don't um, prep them right and cook them right. So I'm going to give this a thumbs down, but not for Brussels sprouts, for boiled Brussels sprouts. But Brussels sprouts, thumbs up. And uh, defend it, well, I don't know, if you're in a war zone, Maybe that's the only way you can eat them, but if you have a choice, yeah. I like that kind of charred, blackened thing that they do. Look at that picture. See, that looks good. That looks like the right kind of Brussels sprouts. Spam. I got a friend who loves spam. Just loves spam. Me? Thumbs down. I guess I'll defend it. I guess I'll defend it, but thumbs down, I'll defend it. Um, this was headquartered in the city I grew up in. The corporate headquarters were in my hometown. Hormel uh, bought the rights to uh, Spam. I don't think they were the original maker, but, you know, it had its use back in the day. And that day's uh, gone. Creamed corn. Right. Hey. I think I got to go thumbs down on that. Uh, though, once in a blue moon, it's okay. But cream corn, I don't hate it. Uh, but I'm going to go thumbs down and no defend. Bologna sandwich. I didn't like that when I was, a, I mean, when I was really young, it was okay. But I never really liked bologna. Uh, see spam. Thumbs down. Don't defend. It had its day. Fish sticks. Thumbs down. Uh, and I don't defend. Um, yeah. I. Yeah. There's much better. I'd rather have sardines in a can. Meatloaf. Now, I don't eat uh, beef, pork, or lamb, uh, so I wouldn't eat this. Uh, but I grew up on meatloaf because it was cheap when you were raising kids um i would say i don't know i don't i guess even though i don't eat it i would defend it give it a thumb sideways and then defend it but i don't eat it um but do i like meatloaf i, I don't have a problem with it it's uh, It depends on how it's made. Some people know how to make it. My mother used to make salmon loaves instead of beef loaves. I like salmon loaf. Chicken pot pie. Oh, man. These are fighting words here now. 
Marie Callender's would make kind of a deluxe gourmet chicken pot pie. I think these are extremely unhealthy, uh, but they can be made to be very delicious. Um, but it's still, you know, if people actually cut up the chicken, put in some real chicken in there. But again, you get the canned vegetable scenario. So if you make a chicken pot pie with fresh ingredients, it's really good. Uh, if you make it with a bunch of canned vegetables, eh. So chicken pot pie, I'm going to go thumbs up, but I'm not going to defend it. Egg salad. I think that's found its time, don't you? I mean, I've moved on from egg salad. That used to be popular at picnics and family reunions. Remember those? Our family reunions, we usually had no more than um, one fatality and three wounded at any no i'm just kidding but uh egg salad yeah the old ladies would make the egg salad um yeah i'd rather have ambrosia salad um or deviled eggs or something like that but yeah i'm gonna go thumbs down on this and uh, i'm not going to defend it i think it's days i don't know this one really sounds old spaghettios thumbs down don't defend never liked it as a kid when i was a kid i hated spaghettios yeah screw spaghettios and that's it so i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think uh i don't know if i showed my age or not but i do like to eat healthy but i don't see anything wrong with certain comfort foods from time to time i think the thing i'm most guilty of is my consumption of fried fish and fried potatoes um I do have a weakness for fried foods, but other than that, I'm, I eat pretty healthy most of the time and, uh, that's it. So thanks for joining me on the channel. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.